Hi YouTubers, here we are today again, something new going down, got the iPhone 3G WhatsApp, lots of people have been having trouble with this because WhatsApp updated and blocked the iPhone 3G because it's apparently obsolete now. So I'm going to show you um, on my iPhone 5 basically the steps that you need to go through to um, be able to install the WhatsApp again. And this is verified, tested on an iPhone 3G. I would just prefer to use my iPhone 5. Uh, basically, you need to jailbreak it first. So hopefully you know how to do that. If not, there's plenty of videos on that. Um, you need to have Cydia. And Cydia is the application you get once you jailbreak your device. I have iFile already, but you're going to need to install iFile. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, once you open Cydia after it's all loaded, um, it's already all up there basically in the bottom right corner you have your search option right here and then you can type up here iFile and then the top one will of course be iFile you tap on it once you tap on it in the top right corner here it's gonna say install instead of modify My, mine says modify because I've already installed it once you click install it'll take you to another screen where you can tap confirm and that will install iFile once iFile installs, it'll end up on your home screen on one of the pages, usually next to your recently installed jailbreak application like Cydia, for example. So I have iFile. Once you do that, you're going to want to go into iFile. And then in the top left corner, there's these back buttons. You're going to want to keep clicking the back buttons until you get all the way to where you just have a slash. You can tap later on that. and once you get here to the first page, basically the root folder of your iPhone, you want to go into System, Library, scroll to Core Services, and then to the very, very bottom, System Version PList. Tap on that. I use Property List Viewer. And then at the very bottom, it says product version. You want to tap on that. Then you want to delete what's there and put in 5.1. Then once you've done that, click back on system version plist. Tap home. And then go ahead and turn off your iPhone. slide it off. Of course I'm not going to do this to my iPhone 5, but what you'll want to do is you'll want to slide it off, turn it back on, once it turns on, turn it off one more time, turn it on a second time. If you have a WhatsApp installed currently, you'll want to delete it, then install it new, fresh from the App Store, go and download it again, and it'll work. It'll let you download it. It won't say that it's outdated, and this has been tested. I've seen it working, and then go ahead and start using your WhatsApp, guys. Leave any comments or complaints, subscribe, rate me, whatever it is. Let me know how I did. If there's something more that you need uh, for this to work, let me know, and I'll help you out. Thanks.